morning. Yes. Today we are looking at another group of invertebrates. And this group is worms. W O R M S worms. We are very confident that of recent we have looked at mollusks. We have looked at mollusks. We have looked at uh, coelent elements. Good. We have looked at echinoderms. Echinoderms. We have looked at arthropods. Arthropods. We have looked at um, mollusks, coelent elements, echinoderms, arthropods. We have looked at sponges. Yes, we are trying to look at classification of living things. And today, this morning, we are looking at worms as one of the groups of invertebrates. Worms, just like uh, mollusks, are also soft bodied invertebrates. Worms, just like mollusks, are also soft bodied invertebrates. Soft bodied invertebrates. They have soft bodies. Yes, they breathe through their moist skins. Breathe through moist skin. Moist skin. Those are worms. Uh, worms. different groups so you can have groups of worms groups of worms and we see what they are right include flat worms we have got flat worms yes we have got round worms Round ones, round ones that we call nematodes. Nematodes. And then we have what we call a segmented ones. Segmented ones. Uh, this can as well be called anids. Anids. Uh, yes, <laughs> so the three groups of worms include flat worms, round worms, segmented worms. Uh, these are given their names according to their body shapes. Those which are flat, those which are round, and those whose bodies are segmented. For now, let's look at segmented worms. Segmented worms. What are segmented ones? Segmented ones. Three. Segmented ones. Segmented ones. These are ones whose body whose bodies have rings. Their bodies have ring like structures. Ring like structures. Yes. Oh, you find if it's like this. If this is a worm, it has such rings. Good. It has uh, rings like this, like this. A ring, a ring like structure. They mostly live in moist places. They live in moist places. These are segmented worms. Number one characteristic of segmented worms is uh, that their bodies have ring like structures. Let's now look at. Um, uh, they live in. Uh, 
Let's look at examples. Examples of these segmented worms. Examples of these worms include earthworms. Earthworms. That's number one. We have the blister worms. Blister worms. Then we have the leech. Leeches. Blister worms, leeches, earthworms, and that. Uh, earthworms have good science. I think we can talk about that. The science about earthworms. The science about earthworms. Earthworms, number one, when it has rained, they come out of the soil. Come out of the soil. When it is raining, so as to get air for breathing. Get air for breathing. Brother Aswams, when it has rained, they get out of the soil to get air for breathing, simply because the tunnels in the soil are filled with water. Yes, earthworms, they produce excreta. Their excreta uh, works as humors. Works as humors. And this improves soil fertility. This improves soil fertility. As one help to aerate the soil. Uh, aerate the soil. As one help to aerate the soil. How? By constructing tunnels in the soil. By constructing tunnels in the soil. So by constructing tunnels in the soil, air is able to be in the soil and thus how the process of soil aeration comes around. Mm. How do they breathe? They breathe through their moist skin, we saw that. And they feed on plant materials. Athrams are herbivorous. They are herbivores, meaning they feed on plant materials. Feed on plant materials. These are aswams. Good. Tomorrow we are talking about beast worms. No, 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 no. Uh, tomorrow we are talking about yeah, beast worms, leeches, plus uh, round worms and flat worms. Thank you very much.